Okay, so we're going to try another one. This again is from uh, section 7.5. It is problem number um, 12. Problem number 12 from 7.5. So let's analyze this a little bit. I see a rational function. So, I mean, it could theoretically be an integration by partial fractions, except for that looks like it's going to be pretty hard to factor. And in fact, if you let u equal x squared, you, you might notice it as a quadratic in u, it actually doesn't factor. Uh, negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac is going to, I mean, b squared minus 4ac is going to be negative 1 minus 4. So um, partial fractions isn't the best approach because we can't factor the denominator. Um, if that was a quadratic, we could complete the square and do uh, either an arctan thing or a, a trig substitution thing. So can we make that into a quadratic? And the answer is yes. I'm going to do a u substitution here. u is going to equal what? x squared. Just like I was talking about before when I was talking about whether that, that polynomial factored. But this works in this case because du is then, of course, dx or 2x dx, or that is 1 half du, is equal to x dx. And so now when I do this, let's change back to my color. I'm going to have 1 half. So x dx is 1 half du, so that's going to be a du there. And in the denominator, we're going to get a u squared plus u plus 1. So now it's a quadratic. Now I can complete the square and do a trig substitution or an arctan integral. So completing the square, well, let's do that over on the side just so it doesn't get too messy. So u squared plus u plus 1. I'm going to put the plus 1 over here. I'm going to take the coefficient of u, which is 1, divide by 2. That's going to be 1 half and square that. So 1 over 2 squared is equal to 1 fourth, right? So I add 1 fourth and subtract 1 fourth. And the idea then is that this is u plus 1 half the quantity squared. 1 minus a fourth is plus 3 fourths. So I can use, rewrite this as 1 half integral du over u plus 1 half squared plus 3 fourths. And we can either tweak this to make it into a um, arctan function or use u trig substitution. Let's tweak it to make it an arctan function. I'm going to pull out a 3 fourths. So when I pull out a 3 fourths, I'll be pulling out actually 1 over 3 fourths, so 4 thirds. So 1 half times 4 thirds. I'll write that step out. integral of du. So this is going to go to 1. And this I'm going to have to pull out a, if I'm pulling out a 3 fourths, that leaves me with a 4 thirds, right, times that. So when I multiply the 3 fourths back in there, the 4 thirds cancel. So this is going to be du over 1 plus four-thirds. U plus one-half squared. And let me bring that four-thirds into the square root. So I'm going to get two-thirds. I'm simplifying that constant. Integral of du over one plus 
2 over the square root 3 times u plus 1 half squared. And now you should recognize this as an arctan function. Let's give ourselves a little bit more room. That's going to be an arctan. So this is 2 thirds. Let me leave a little space here for the constant arctan of 2 over the square root of 3 u plus 1 half squared uh, plus c. Um, but when I take the derivative of this thing that I'm taking the arctan of, that's just a linear thing. Of course, I'm going to have a 2 thirds, 2 over square root 3, so I need the square root 3 over 2 to cancel that. Remember, that's just a linear factor. And now, of course, we need to plug in for x. So let's simplify that. That's square root 3 over 3. I'll keep it in the denominator rationalized. Arctan 2 over square root 3 times x squared plus 1 half plus c. And there we have it. Yay!